So I was going to report to you yesterday, I was so busy, I had so many meetings, I can't even tell you how many meetings I attended or said I would attend or was going to attend because some of them I didn't even stay till the end. There was the Toastmasters AGM, which I attended from the beginning because we needed to have a quorum to make the election valid. That was the VIC Toastmasters Club at the United Nations in Vienna where I've been president twice and have been in the committee since 2010 when I joined the club and I'm still actively supporting. Even though I don't have any access to the UN at the moment, I'm a retiree and the since the corona pandemic, the retirees have been prohibited from entering the BIC. Actually, NGOs as well, though last week was the... Crime Commission on Criminal Justice and my NGO, the Women's Federation for World Peace President, actually entered for the conference on Monday morning because she got a grounds pass as an NGO representative. They only issued one grounds pass for one NGO representative to be able to attend. So I was at the uh, yeah okay at the Toastmasters meeting and right now I'm looking at a document to translate to decide whether or not I'll do it. I've had two other requests to translate a 350-page book, um, a 30-page testimony, and now this next document which I'm still considering whether to do and I want to decide quickly. I've learned a few things since I've started this Thinking Into Results course with Bob Proctor and one of those things is decide quickly. It's true that I I don't know whether I would use the word ambivalent. When I tell my story I say I wanted to do everything and it was often a matter of not being able to decide what do I really want to do and to a certain degree that's still the case now in retirement I'm involved in Women's Federation in Toastmasters this afternoon a Women in Nuclear meeting together with the Division of Nuclear Security where I was working for the last 10 years at the IAEA and I don't recognise any of the names of the people organising that so I'm quite curious to meet my colleagues from Nuclear Security and well, was I going to tell you what I did yesterday? No, actually, no excuses, but I was going to explain why I didn't post anything yesterday. And in all of my honesty and openness, I'm here, and I'm just telling my story. And whether I'll post something again tonight, no, no idea, no idea. I'm a bit spontaneous, I would say, impetuous. A few other words I could use to describe myself. And you can see I'm still wearing my blue uniform because it's still May. And I'll be graduating, that's my intention, graduating at the end of the month to something else, whatever that is. I'm still working on that. So Katrina, thanks for your message. I really appreciated that. You said you learned so much about me and we spent that time as missionaries in Hobart and so much water has passed under the bridge since then and I was once asked to give a talk about what it was like to be a missionary and I haven't given that talk yet, maybe one day, not today. There's lots of other things I wanted to talk about, even as I reflect on what I did talk about the first couple of years of my working life. Gosh, I've done so much more than that since then and the most recent things and I I guess I'm dedicating these few minutes to focus on a few activities. Now, I didn't write myself a list today. What am I going to talk about? What am, uh, what am I going to say? So I am a bit all over the place. Uh, maybe that's something for me to learn for the future. So what I was planning was to do YouTube videos. So I need people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, okay? 
and uh, click on the notifications. I, I've learnt this from watching other people's videos. So, you know, you've got to subscribe to the list and then click on notifications so that you get notified every time I, I post a video. If you want to keep in touch and know what I'm doing. And what else? Uh, Facebook, I'm posting occasionally, especially when I post my YouTube videos. I sometimes post an article onto Facebook, sometimes onto LinkedIn, sometimes onto Instagram, sometimes onto Twitter. Yes, I'm present at all those platforms and maybe I should specialise and focus a little bit more on one. At the moment I'm, I'm inclined to YouTube and Facebook. The others are sort of just by the way and I'll see how that develops depending on what I end up doing. So am I just filling in time? I don't want to waste your time. I want to give you something valuable and I see myself as the motivations trainer and I guess my message now is just do it. Overcome your fear of being exposed. I, I had a questionnaire this morning in my mailbox from marketagain.com. It gives you about 10 cents per survey. I think today's survey was 40 cents. And they were asking a lot of questions about courage and uh, interesting questions so that's put me in that direction as well because of those questions that were asked but I, I haven't got a copy of that so I can't tell you any more what was in it sometimes I recognize I have a bit of a short-term memory issue and uh, in general my memory has been very very good Though sometimes I just, um, I guess I'm not interested <laughs> in regurgitating all the details. Sometimes they'll ask me something and I think, well, you can look it up in the internet or you can look it up in my blog or in my YouTube. So that's it. See you next time.